What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Canada Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone Season 3. Yes ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to go over the best settings that you can use for Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 right now to make your game look absolutely beautiful and also not just that, make your game run much much smoother and have a better gameplay experience overall. It doesn't matter if you are an AMD user, a video user, a low-end gaming PC user, mid-tier gaming PC user or high-end gaming PC user. Alright, so the first step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and we're going to type in edit power plan just like this and you're going to go to edit power plan you're going to go to power options over here now you have a few options inside here now some laptops don't have these options and some pcs also don't have these options where it says like ultimate performance and stuff like that if yours do just go to ultimate performance and then go to change plan and then go to change advanced power settings make sure this is on zero and then just make sure that your minimum process state is on 100 percent now for people out there that don't have these over here you can literally create create a power plan just by clicking on this and then click on high performance and then just delete everything inside you and just say best settings for everything right so this will be the best settings for your pc and your gaming so this is not just for warzone it will actually help for every single game that you're going to be playing but especially this will be useful for warzone so you're going to keep this on never on never this is your own personal preference i just keep mine on never and just say create so now you'll have a power option over here you're going to change the plan settings over here and go to change advanced power settings this one over here you're going to change to zero so just click inside here and then type in zero you say apply and then it's going to apply it to zero and you click anywhere now it's going to change it to never now, as you can see you have an active power plan on this you go all the way down go to minimum processor state as you can see it's on 100 if yours is lower put it to 100 percent maximum processor state put it on 100 percent as well say okay and then close out of this the next thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter you are going to go to where it says privacy and you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says background apps now you're going to turn this off you might have this on like this and all of these things might be on and running in the background you do not want that you can individually put these things off depending on what you use and what you don't use or you can just switch them all off for when you play games and you're not going to use any of these things i highly recommend just switching it all off once you're done with that all you need to do is next is go to this gaming over here and then make sure where it says gaming mode you turn this off if you do more FPS by this being on because a lot of machines are completely different to other people's computers or other people's rigs so I highly recommend playing around with this and it is your own personal preference see what your PC does best if it's on or if it's off for my personal rig I keep this off all right once you're done with that you can actually go to graphic settings like this and then you over here by graphic settings now this way it says hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if you have this i highly recommend switching this on if you do not have this on go and switch it on it's going to ask you to restart your computer if you've never put it on before but just go ahead and do that once you're done watching this video now as you can see i have a lot of games inside here because it helps me a lot with my game itself so if you do not have this option or you do have this option you can also do this by going to browse and then go to where your call of duty is installed so mine's installed over here in call of duty go inside call of duty's folder and go to the exe file and all you're going to do is click add now i already added mine over here so as you can see it's right there you go to options and go to high performance so it chooses your graphics card that you're currently running so if it's in the video graphics card an amd graphics card where whatever the case might be you should be good to go go to save and then close out of this the next thing you're going to need to do is actually go to your NVIDIA control panel. This is for every single person out there that's running NVIDIA graphics cards. So you just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Or you can just go to the search button over here and type in NVIDIA control panel. As easy as that. And it's going to open up the video control panel and you're going to go inside here and these are the best settings you're going to be using right so the first one over here is this one over here and you're going to put this to use the advanced 3d image settings or you can do this manually by going to use my preference you could put it on quality or you can put it on performance i highly recommend putting this on performance if you're running a budget gaming pc or a budget gaming laptop if you're running a mid-tier gaming pc there around then i highly recommend putting this at balanced if you're running a really high-end gaming machine and you know your graphics card can put out the performance that it needs to put out go to quality and say apply but i do recommend just keeping it on this one over here and leaving it over here and then just say apply and it's going to apply these settings all right the next thing you're going to need to do is over here where it says this config surround your physics all right 
this one over here you're going to select the graphics card you're currently running do not say auto select do not say cpu select a graphics card you're currently running and say apply if you've never done this before all right so here is a very important step this one over here now as you can see i have three screens right so this is my main screen that i play my games on right so a lot of people would like to see like you know better contrast they want to be able to make the game look better and stuff like that and instead of using the video filters that actually you know dumbs down your fps and breaks down your fps and sometimes even breaks the game you all you need to do is come inside here and i know nvidia control panel has this and i know amd also has this option you can just go and find it you can literally just google it i do not have an radeon card or an amd card so this is for nvidia users go to the digital vibrance and put this at about 85 or 80 or 75 depending on the monitor that you're currently running a lot of people have different types of monitors you know ultra wide you know gaming lab laptop screens or whatever the case might be gaming screens whatever the case might be mine's on 85 is a sweet spot and this is how i have mine over here all right so once you're done with that you just close out of this and then you're going to go to this over here where you go to start and you're going to type in device manager just like this and press enter you're going to open up your device manager and you're going to go to display adapters and right click on your graphics card and say update drivers. So it's automatically for drivers and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed. I do highly recommend you do this with every single thing inside here or you could just right click over here and scan for hardware and changes and it will let you know if you have an update for something on your machine. That's the quick and easy way of doing that. There's another way of doing this by actually going to geforce experience if you have geforce experience installed if you're in a video user like me all you need to do is just go inside here open this up and then check for updates for your drivers there's another way of doing that if you want to go and download the latest drivers just type in google um the video driver download or radeon driver download and it will let you select your graphics card and you go and download the latest drivers for your machine all right the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to open up your battle.net and you're going to launch call of duty warzone now as you can see my card is already launched so once your card is launched you just press ctrl alt delete and you go to task manager and you're going to open up your task manager like this so now this is the thing what you need to do all right so this one over here call of duty you're going to go to this go to details and you go to call of duty modern warfare over here you right click on it and go to set priority and set it to high you want this to be on high because you want your cpu ram and graphics card to use everything it can to run modern warfare or call of duty warzone at its best all right once you're done with that i do highly recommend you go ahead and do this as well it actually does help you a lot if you have MSI Afterburner installed on your machine. Now I do have MSI Afterburner installed on my machine and every time I tweak it to the one I have as an overclock for my graphics card and I have them saved over here. So that's my overclock and this is for when I don't game. So right, this is my overclock settings. I have it on plus 100 on the core clock, plus 100 on the memory clock and then I have my fan speed at 90% when I play my games. When I don't game anymore, I just go to number 2 and I click on this. So if you want to make a new one, let's just say you want to put it on whatever the hull you want to and you're overclocking it to whatever the hull you want to and you know wherever the sweet spot is you can go ahead and select it yourself and then click this button and it will save it for you and you can run it like you want to now right now i'm just going to put this on here because i am on warzone so i'm just going to open it up and actually show you what this actually does and what the frames i'm doing inside call of duty warzone all right so this is the frames i'm doing right now so as you can see, I'm doing about 190. So I'm just going to click options and then go to graphics over here. All right. So the first thing I do highly recommend you do is put this on full screen mode. This is for the best settings you can be running for the, you know, the less input lag this is the best for you to run it at all right if you have a low-end gaming machine i do understand or a low-end gaming uh graphics card or a laptop or whatever the case might be you can go ahead and play this on different options but i do highly recommend putting this at full screen mode over here this is your monitor that you're currently running your game on and then obviously you're going to select your graphics card that you're currently running this is a refresh rate of your monitor and these are the resolution of what you're playing your game at now, if you are running this game at 1080p, you know, 1920 by 1080p, and your game is still doing low FPS, you can actually bring this a bit down. So you just put this on 95 like this, or you can put it on, let's say, 90. I think the lowest you should be going to is 85, and leave it like that. If you are getting 
lots and lots of FPS drops. All right, I'm just going to keep mine at 100 and keep it like this. You can also advance this tab and change the resolution. Obviously, if you want to drop down the resolution, you can get a little bit more frames out of your game, and your game will still look okay, depending on what resolution you put your game on. Dynamic resolution, put this on disable, and then this one you just leave default. This one over here is aspect ratio, depending on the monitor that you're running. I do highly recommend playing around with this, depending on the monitor that you're running, because a lot of people play with ultra wides and gaming, you know, like proper gaming um, screens and monitors and stuff like that. But I also do recommend just keeping it on automatic because it'll automatically pick up what um, screen you are currently using, you know. So VSync, this is just for screen tearing in general in your game, or if you want to cap your FPS. A lot of people cap their FPS by putting this on, so you'll do the FPS of the refresh rate of your monitor, right? This one over here is your custom frame rate limit. You can change this to in custom, and then ch change the custom frame rate limit for whatever you're going to be doing. So I just put mine on disabled, or unlimited, sorry, and just leave it over there. This one I actually put on 60, because this is my sweet spot, but it depends on your monitor that you're currently running, or your screen, or your laptop screen, or whatever the case might be. Just keep it at what you feel is the sweet spot for you. All right, this one over here, you keep on 2.2, disable this one, and disable this one as well. Once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings and go to quality. I do highly recommend playing with this. I'm not really going to talk about this one over here because everyone has their own personal preference. But if you do change this, keep it on affected. Do not put it on independent because once you aim down sight and you have yours, let's say, over here, once you aim down sight, it's going to go back to that. So your gun's going to be really, really close to you. All right, so put it on in affected. And put it this on whatever you like to put it on. Put this on least. Streaming quality, you're going to put on low. This, you're going to put on either normal or high. But if you want better performance, this is for people out there that want better performance, put this on normal. Texture filtering, anastropic. This is what you're going to put on either normal or you're going to put this on low if you want your game to boost FPS much, much higher. You want to get more FPS out of your game, right? This one, you're going to put on low. This one you're going to either enable or you're going to disable it. It's your own personal preference. This one over here you're going to keep on disable. This one over here you're going to, you know, this is your own personal preference. I keep on enabled. This one you're going to disable. Don't put that on. This one over here you can go all the way up to 1.00 and then actually put this on quality if you have NVIDIA DLSS. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people play this game at higher resolutions than 1080p so they play it at 1440p or 4k then you can go ahead put this on performance or ultra performance to get better fps out of your game but if you're playing at 1080p i do highly recommend just put this on quality if you do not have nvidia dlss just put this on disable put this all the way back down and then this one over here you're going to play around with so i do highly recommend putting this on one times if you have a low-end gaming machine if you have a mid-tier gaming machine, you can go ahead and try this one or this one over here, and you should be good to go. All right, so I use NVIDIA DLSS, so what I do is I put this on quality, and I put this all the way up to 1.00. Disable this one, disable this, disable this. It's a multiplayer game, so you do not need these at all. This one over here, I do highly recommend putting it on normal, because... It does impact a little bit of FPS, but not a lot. But if you're here for FPS boost and you want to get the best FPS out of your game, just put this on normal. Or just put it on low. Alright? So, one of the two. Okay? But I do recommend putting it on low if you want to get that extra FPS. Alright? This one over here, you're going to put either on enabled or disabled. This is your own personal preference. Literally your own personal preference. But, like I said, if you want more FPS out of your game, just disable both of these. Particle lighting, you can... Put this on low as well to get more FPS out of your game. And then disable Direct 6 Ray Tracing. Ambient Occlusion, I do highly recommend keeping this on both. It does make the game look much better. Or you could just completely disable this. Screen Space Reflections, disable this one as well. And then say Apply. So now I'm just going to show you something quickly. So as you can see, mine's capped at 60 FPS right now. So I'm going to go to Display. And I'm going to show you something quick. Alright, so VSync is enabled now, so I'm going to disable it and say apply, and I'm going to go back into my lobby like this, and now watch my FPS. So now it's doing 201, alright? So you're already doing an FPS increase by just doing that little bit of tweaks that I just showed you now. And ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year, and I'll be uploading videos on a regular basis to make you guys play this game at its ultimate best, because... 
the developers don't know what they're doing. They don't know. And they're not going to come and sit and hold your hand and tell you, oh, yeah, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do to have better frames. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. No, they're not going to fucking do that. You need people to come and help you because a lot of people are struggling with this game and getting FPS loss and they're doing like under, I don't know, like under 100 FPS, and these people have like really good machines. I mean, there's people out there that I know that have 30 series graphics cards. That's way better than mine. I have a 2060 OC, right? It's not the 30 series, but they do less FPS than me because they go ahead and do stupid things on their war zone and they change stupid things. So if you follow my guidelines like this, you should be good to go with any machine that you are playing with. If this helped you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to channel if you're new year, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace.